Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. This is Monday, May 13th, 2024. We have our three readings. Once again, with it being Monday, we are reflecting back on what happened at church on Sunday. Psalm 115 is our psalm reading. Exodus 28, 29 through 38 will be our Old Testament reading. And Philippians 1, 3 through 11 is going to be our New Testament reading. We're going to flip up the tab and it looks like it's under the NRSV today. So let us listen in. Psalm 115. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name. Give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness, why should the nation say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. They have noses, but they do not smell. They have hands, but they do not feel. They have feet, but they do not walk. They make no sound in their throats. Those who make them are like them. So all who trust in them, O oh, Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O oh, house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is the help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heaven. But the earth has been given to the human beings. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time on forevermore. Praise the Lord. Our Old Testament reading is Exodus 28, 29-38. So Aaron shall bear the names of the son of Israel in the breastplate of judgment on his heart when he goes into the holy place for a continual remembrance before the Lord. In the breastpiece of judgment you shall put the Urim and the Thurman, and they shall be on Aaron's heart when he goes in before the Lord. Thus Aaron shall bear the judgment of the Israelites on his heart before the Lord continually. He shall make the robe of the ephod all of blue. It shall have an opening for the head in the middle of it, with a woven binding around the edge, like the opening in a garment, so that it may not be torn. On the lower hem you shall make pomegranates of blue, purple, and crimson yarn all around the lower hem, the bells of gold between them all around, a golden bell and pomegranate, alternating all around them in the hem of the robe. Aaron shall wear it when he ministers, and its sound shall be heard when he goes into the holy place before the Lord and when he comes out, so he may not die. You shall make a rosette of pure gold and engrave on it, like the engraving of a signet. Holy to the Lord, you shall fasten it on the turban, with a blue cord, it shall be on the front of the turban, it shall be on the Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall take on himself any guilt incurred in the holy offerings that the Israelites consecrate as their sacred donations. It shall always be on his forehead, in order that they may find favor before the Lord. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. I thank my God for every remembrance of you, always in every one of my prayers for all of you, praying with joy for your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete 
and until the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because I hold you in my heart. For all of you are my partners in God's grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness how I long for all of you with a tender affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that you may love and overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what really matters so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. And here ends our readings for the day.